Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Battlestar Galactica on the PlayStation 2, released in 2003 by Universal. I think it was also released on the Xbox. I've been after this for absolutely ages. I don't hear too many good things about it, never played it. This is generally the first time, but I'm a massive Battlestar Galactica fan. Not so much uh, the Reimagined series, but the original, you know, it was part and parcel of my childhood. How I even like Battlestar. Uh, 1980. The reimagined series was alright up to season 3. Well, it was very good up to season 3, and then all of a sudden it just completely lost the fucking plot. Right, let's get into this. Right, now I don't think this got very, very good reviews. I think it was described as just standard space shooter, very, very linear, quite a steep learning curve. Let's skip that. But, right, what's interesting is um, you play Young Adama in the original Cylon War. And uh, the visuals are Battlestar Galactica, you know, the original series, but I believe it's set in the continuity of the new one. Where's my targeting thingy? There. Don't like that. Right. Oh, that's weird. Have I not got... I've not got jets. It's a Battlestar Galactica game, and I haven't got a turbo. Oh. Is it inverted? I don't know. Yeah, so Young Adama, original style in wars, um, basically 10 missions. Now this is kind of cool. I don't know if you can hear that. If I hammer it, it's the lasers from the, lasers from the original series. Uh, if I hold it, hold it down, it's the Vulcans. Right, right, where the fuck are these silent bastards? But yeah, like I said, I love the original Battlestar Galactica, Dirk Benedict, who apparently is unlockable in this, uh, as is um, Richard Hatch, who played um, um, Apollo. I don't know how much other unlockable stuff there is. As I said, this is 2003, so it's very much the time of the miniseries, isn't it? Fucking hell. These things don't hang around, do they? Right. It's weird. It's trying to get yourself centred on the, the target computer. Right, obviously you got a little red thing that points where to go. These things got beans, mine. Someone's running in their fucking XL3i. Fuck. Talking, playing, difficult. Am I supposed to aim for that? The little blue thing ahead of him? Yes. Am I? Right. Well, Star Wars, it ain't. Looks alright. There we go. Oh, hey, you managed to shoot a missile at me while he was blowing up. That's commitment to the cause. I love the design of the original Silence as well. I didn't like the new Silence. Although, in the miniseries at the start, there is one in a, in a tank, isn't there? In the museum, I should say. Last time. You know what I mean. But yeah, so many great memories of the original one. Especially when it was repeated when I was at secondary school and it was on every Wednesday when I came home. Oh, sweet. They got the original voice. So I just try... Let's try the minigun, if we can find one of these fuckers. Bye, your command. Fuck you, toaster boy. Sweet, explosions are nice. Also, I don't want to sound like a chauvinist success says pig when I say this, but I just... Me and my mates, maybe because we grew up the original. We weren't fans of Starbuck being recast as a bird. We were fans of them putting um, Richard Hatch in it, because people seem to forget that he tried to fund a uh, Battlestar revival, didn't he? Mortgaged his house and everything, uh, called the, the Second Coming, and it was all done with off-the-shelf software and volunteers and stuff. And uh, you can find it on YouTube, the trailer. He went like Comic-Cons and stuff like that, didn't he, years ago, trying to get funding for it. And, um, oh, I've got to protect the, the Battlestar, haven't I? And, yeah, that looks lovely, mind. Yeah, and it, it, it never happened, but they did end up putting him in, um, you know, the show, which was kind of cool, a nice little nod. I don't know where I'm going. I've got, I've got to protect the, uh, the Battlestar bridge. Have I got any missiles or anything? 
There we go. Yeah, so I've got to protect the bridge. Look at it, it's flying over the battle stars are epic! We're taking fire. I know you're taking fire. I'm trying to shoot. Look at that sexy radar leader. How big and strong is this fucking radar? Radar? Radar. I don't even know if I'm hitting it. Let's go to lasers. Am I doing the right thing? Oh, there's energy. There's another one. Okay. Oh, it's weird. When I was a kid, I thought it only had one launch tube on one side of the ship. Because you only ever really saw it from the side, didn't you? Different sides, but now I just thought it was going in different directions. Does anyone else do fucking anything for a living here? Thank you. I gotta say, it's very shifty, isn't it? Like you know, the way they, the way they move around. All right, shut up. Everything by myself because everyone else is a lazy bastard or scared. Ah, my hands cramping up. Right, anyone else? How many of these fuckers are there? Well, quite a few, I'd imagine. The background's nice. Is it just FMV though? Oh fuck, nuggets! Bye. You going by? He's going by. Well, there you go. I'm going to call it quits there. Just want to have a little, you know, little play of Battlestar Galactica, the game. And apparently, I suck balls at it. But it's Battlestar, and I love Battlestar. Or the universe, I should say. So I'll definitely give it another go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.